guys what is up welcome back to a brand new video on the channel now as you guys saw by the title and the thumbnail today i'm going to show you how to make a money uh, slash currency system on roblox and how to make it uh, save and load so first of all if you haven't already click create game so go to uh, my creations and uh, create a new game and then uh, you're going to actually go to this gear icon in the game click configure game uh, from here you're going to actually need to enable studio access to vip i mean api services and what this does is to make sure that you can actually test uh, the saving and loading system in your game okay so now that we're in studio make sure you have your explorer open and your properties open and um if you don't have them just go to view and find them in here as you can see so now um once we have these open these two um you're going to actually go ahead and go to server script service we're going to do all the scripting okay so you're going to actually right click this insert object and script okay so let's start by renaming this script i'm going to name it current data okay now um we're going to start with um data store service okay so you don't have to do uh, when i type these these are basically comments you don't have to type them okay so First line we're going to do is we're going to actually um, get the service so that we can load and save the data. So we're going to do local DSS equals game colon get service data store service. Okay. Now we're going to define the data for the currency. So I'm going to name it uh, money equals DSS colon get data store. Now here is going to be the name that you're going to give to the data store. I'm going to call it hash. Okay, so there we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make so that whenever a player joins your game, they're going to get the value of their money. So to do this, we're going to do added colon connect open brackets function, open brackets PLR, and hit enter. So you have something like this. So PLR is the player that has been joined into the game so what we're going to do is we're going to define the amount of cash that this player has so we're going to do local pcash equals money colon get async plr dot user id or zero so basically so basically um either it gets the data of the money or if he hasn't saved yet it gets a uh, zero okay so if you want him the player to start at 10 cash you can change this to 10 or whatever you want okay let's actually do it 10 cash for now okay so now we're going to make it uh, store their money value in the leaderboard so to do this we're going to actually go local leader stats equals instance dot new PLR, actually no, folder, comma, PLR. So you're gonna place a folder inside the player. We're going to name this leader stats dot name equals leader stats. So there's a folder folder called uh, leader stats now inside a player. Now we're gonna place the cache inside the folder. So we're gonna do local cache value equals instance dot new number value comma leader stats just like that now we're going to do cash dot value i mean cash value dot name equals we're going to name this cash you can name it whatever you want like money or whatever you want to call your currency and now we're going to do cash value dot value equals p cash so it's going to give the value that uh, it hasn't been loaded in okay so now if we go ahead and play the game it should work okay okay so now as you can see we have the cache but it doesn't have the name that we gave it so we're going to actually fix this we're going to go here we're going to remove this from here and we're going to do cache value dot parent equals leader stats and that should fix it now we're going to make uh, the cache save. So to do this, we're going to actually go ahead and go back here actually. And we're going to do cache value dot change colon connect 
open brackets function open brackets b close brackets now we're going to do money colon set async uh, plr.userid comma v just like that so it's basically whenever the cash value changes um, it's going to save back into the money data store which we defined here and give it to the player and it's going to save the value that has been changed okay so now we're going to do print money saved okay so it's going to print money saved over here whenever it saves so let's check this out. We're going to actually play this. So as you see, we have 10 cash right now. So imagine if I change the cash, we can go over here and change the property to, uh, I guess, 100 cash. And over here, it says money saved. OK, so now if you go ahead and stop the game. And if we restart the game. It has loaded the cash back where it saved last so 100 cash so as you can see that is how you make your cash load and save in game so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure to subscribe and like this video because i will be posting more of these tutorials if you guys actually enjoy them so if you did make sure to subscribe and like and i'll see you guys later peace